Hi there. So if you've got... Yeah, yeah. What do you think of a visual communicator like Banksy? <laughs> Once upon a time, Banksy would have like done the cover of Time Out every week. I I admired what he was doing and how he was doing it and where he was doing it and also I could see a great value and a kind of energy and a kind of a pertinence. He was almost like a kind of, we could understand Banksy as like contemporary Hogarth conducting a visual critique of the culture and the ways of the city that he was living in. Banksy on a wall, and somebody who buys the wall, <laughs> quite wonderful. A very mercenary gallery system that enables Banksy to churn out canvases for a fledgling contemporary art market in London that has no idea what it's doing. But so much money to get rid of that they don't care. is kind of frustrating. In world art terms, Banksy was not yet significant in fine art. But in London, amongst a bunch of people who just really did have money to burn, as well we know. What did it, I mean, it was fun, and it was understandable, but it was in a way kind of illustration. I mean, it was good work, but but it was just, it, where it went was, kind of, because where Damien's work has gone. Damien's show at Sotheby's, in when was it? October, November? Yeah. Was truly and utterly appalling in the context of art. It was, I walked around that show and it was almost as if the design department of Selfridges had bought the Damien Hurst brand and churned out the Damien Hurst. That, they had, that, side, that Selfridges had licensed had licensed the, the Damien Hurst brand and a group of reasonably kind of witted designers had, had produced, you know, a hundred Damien Hursts. They were utterly hopeless. Utterly, utterly, utterly hopeless. And yet, you know, a kind of society and a, 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 an art collecting market of such new money, so desperate to get rid of it, that it was able to fetch a hundred million you know, at auction, it was kind of just desperate. But interestingly, you know, since then, a lot of the people who bought actually didn't buy, and they never came through on the sales. And there are some questions about exactly how that auction was was. Engineer. That's how we've got time for one more question. Uh, and can and I just, give just and to be fair, I, that is not a criticism of Damien's true, and in a way we'll call it founding work, and it's not a criticism of Banks's true and founding work. It's a criticism of just what ridiculous things that market has been able to do this last five or ten years. One, one more question, and then we've got to call it quits. Um, can I just give a hint? 